At Redfin, the design system is really at the foundation and the core of all of our products. Having a tool powerful enough to be able to support and handle that was the deciding factor in getting buy-in to start using Figma. When we built the first sort of design system, it was a challenge to keep the whole organization updated with updates, and it was also really hard to understand who was actually using it. Figma has helped us tremendously with that. Our design system has over 50 components. You can double or triple that depending on how many states a single component can have. And you can imagine that a design file can just blow up. Moving the design system into Figma, it was such a relief. Variance was a huge feature, set Figma apart. It really helped heighten our components. It helped streamline the design system files. Envoy design team upgraded to Figma's organization plan, and we did that for two reasons. The first reason was the ease of user provisioning and security around that. And then the second reason was around merging and branching. And in the past, there had been instances where people accidentally had deleted items that were pretty important. With merging and branching, we were able to ensure that important design system files were restored and we could have different versions of them that designers were working on. The design systems team uh, that works pretty extensively on our system and uses Figma, being able to create many different versions and test it out in real time on different screens and interfaces gives us enough confidence that we can move forward with a direction or pick the right color or make sure the illustration fits into that system really well. How we synchronize our design tokens between our developer tools and, and our design systems would definitely not be possible in some of the most old school classic design tools we've, we've all been used to. So instead of spending our time sort of discussing and aligning on our core components like buttons and tags and font styles, etc., we can spend our time focusing on bringing the interactions to life, we can spend more time testing with the users, we can spend more time building a great product. And I think ultimately that's what matters for us. That gives us a better product at the end.